Uh, well, it just shows, as you said, uh, the consumer is resilient. And the reason for that is, if you're seeing uh, the uh, figures in the US, they are sort of comparable as well. Uh, the household headed into uh, this recent rise in uh, interest rates uh, in good shape in terms of household balance sheets. Uh, BIS measures of household debt servicing, even with several hundred basis points increase uh, in, uh, uh, in interest rates, has only risen you know, by uh, less than one percentage point uh, as uh, measured by income. So your income growth is enough, more than enough, to offset uh, your debt servicing rises. So then you have more left in the pocket to spend. Right? It's as simple as that. Can't be said for the government, though. No. Um, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm stuck between the government and the consumer. Government and consumer. Let's go government. How, how big a problem have we got for the government, Geoffrey? Well, the issue with the government is uh, that the UK is quite unique in terms of it, it issues uh, quite a bit of um, a guilt uh, in the form of linkers. So, as you know, you know linkers, uh, they are very exposed um, to um, the short term rises in their interest rates, uh, hence uh, their debt servicing burden relative to the rest uh, that has increased as well. Uh, so uh, your uh, floating coupon payments, uh, that's going up. So in the short term, it's back to the prime minister's pledge to bring down inflation. You halve inflation numbers, uh, then uh, the amount of debt servicing via the linkers, um, uh, that's going to halve as well. Um, but it's got its work cut out. Yeah, the slight problem is it's not in the government's remit to bring down inflation, but we won't go there now. I want to go back to the consumer, the other side uh, of the ledger as well. I, I am staggered. I, look, I, as I know, I've known for decades that I shouldn't write off the UK consumer, but every time I see these increasing debt service costs you just mentioned as well, I do worry about my peers in the United Kingdom. Is this going to end in tears, though? I hear what you're saying about the pay rises, but the, the plethora of increasing costs. I mean, every time I open an email at the moment, Jeff, it's a utility or it's a streaming service or it's a bank just telling me about the increased costs or the increased interest rate. Are wages able to carry on keeping up with that? If not, are we looking at a, a tricky scenario in the UK? Uh, no, we don't think wages are in a position to um, keep up. Uh, so especially um, if a uh, rate rises, at least in the short term, they're still going to um, accelerate or stay at 50 basis points, uh, which um, I think on balance is still going to be the case, even after the CPI numbers. Uh, then uh, you are looking at, uh, in terms of the uh, consumer, the prospects of a cliff edge. Um, a lot will depend on how a credit um, is going to be supplied to the consumer. But that also means because of the UK's exposure um, to uh, the consumer, uh, that could mean an economic cliff edge um, as well. Now, how much of this is you know, seasonal spending, tourism spending, et cetera, et cetera. We've seen that uh, lift inflation numbers, um, else, sorry, spending numbers uh, elsewhere, discretionary spending numbers elsewhere. Uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, but no, I don't think this can continue. And the UK is still at biggest risk um, of, uh, let's just say, um, a harder landing compared to the rest of the G10.